what nationality a prostitute am I going to celebrate afterwards? And I said, American, William Monroe Jr.'s mum. For him to say all of these things, it just shows more weakness on his behalf. This is the, this is the life, isn't it? We're in Future Ventura, an island in the middle of nowhere. Not a lot to do apart from train, top golf, and a swim. But uh, listen, we're not here to, we're not here to play about. We're here to put the hard work in. <laughs> it's nice to see, you know, the teammates out here, the gym mates out here supporting me. Because they're only out here to support me, even though they're working themselves. And uh, like I said earlier on, teamwork makes the dreams work. Go on, John. I'm from the uh, gypsy, from the gypsy background. Got uh, that gypsy blood running through a fight all day. We've had a good upbringing, but it's been hard. From from being no age, walking about um, a caravan site growing up, it's you know you fights every day, as a kid fights, and it, it hardens you up to an extent. Where we come from, there's uh, we've got good morals, good respect. Um, a lot of hard work goes into our sort of uh, culture. I got brought up in a pool cabin. He got brought up in a tent somewhere. He goes, you want to see where I grew up? He showed us a picture of about 800 grand out. <laughs> I don't expect anyone to, uh, to give me anything in life or put anything my way for nothing. I know that uh, in life you have to work hard for it, and that's the reason why I've locked myself away for the last 12 weeks and worked like a, work like a good one. Yeah, I mean, going to Sheffield, has obviously changed my boxing life. I get distracted very easily out of boxing, and whether it's going for a game of snooker, whether it's going go-karting, whether it's, it's always got to be a fun day with me, but it's not, it can't be like that. It's got to be work, rest, work, rest. I needed to go away from home, like, and I'm a two and a half hour drive away from home, so it's obviously stick there, and I've been there for 12 weeks, and uh, I'm living in Kid Galahad's attic at the moment. It's good though because you know you see him working away and you see all these others working away who wants it, starving, wants it, got no money, got nothing. They go like they need it. They go every day and, and training alongside of them gets that hunger back. And when you've got that hunger back and you're happy, you're a happy fighter, you're a hard, hard man to beat. That's like we're a lot of piss in this water, one or two. I've done everything. I've won Southern Area, Commonwealth, British, European, Intercontinental, World. So I've ticked all them boxes, but I'm yet to be tested at the elite level. And that's what I want to see, because I'd hate to get old and think, I blew that because I didn't, I didn't give that a few months of my time. I blew that. You know, it'd be hard to look back when I'm an old man thinking, I could have beat one of them, may not beat one of them. But I just want to, I want to test myself, and I know what i got deep down. I could, I could, I could be a great, could. That's what you've got to part with. <laughs> they don't try and do it to me, though, then I'll that get them back. Jungle, jungle. <laughs> I live in the gym. You know, um, some guys do it, I live it. You know, it's, it's one thing to get in shape inside of 12 weeks, and there's one thing to just live in the gym. I love what I do, you know what I mean? And I think you have to apply yourself. And, you know, I think one great fighter, Floyd Mayweather, said, if you want to be the best, you got to work overtime. And I understand that the odds are against me, so I know I have to put in that much more work to get at least equal. You know, I think it's kind of contradictive to what he's saying. You know, I'm a bum, I'm a quitter, I have no heart, but he's training his, his heart out like he's getting ready to fight Mike Tyson. So it doesn't, you know, it almost doesn't make sense. You know, I'm not saying that you shouldn't train hard, but don't disrespect your opponent and call him a bum and call him all of these names and say he's not worthy of it but you're killing yourself in training and, and, and every day you're posting on social media to try to make everybody think you're in the best shape of your life. But I hope he is because I don't want the Billy Joe Saunders that fought Arthur Akavov or the guys that they said he was. I want the best Billy Joe Saunders so when I get done with him, there'll be no excuses. Okay, that building right there with the red, it's an actual slide. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I don't, I don't, I'll be scared to go. I ain't gonna lie, you can't, I can't pay enough to die. You could die, can't you? You know the momentum you pick up coming down from that high? Push his ass down that slide. <laughs> when you don't know anyone from a can of paint and you have to say all of these negative things to create a way in your mind to say you're going to win, you're projecting yourself upon them. I don't need to project negative thoughts like that because I know who I am. And I know for a fact that Billy Joe Saunders has turned us down not once but twice. So for him to say all of these things, 
It just shows more weakness on his behalf. But like I said, if that's what gives him the confidence to say, I'm going to get in there and fight Willie Monroe, <laughs> by all means, just show up on the 16th. That's all I need you to do. Uh, he's going to get this work. <laughs> I'm here at Taylor's bar. I come here sometimes after training or whenever just to relax. Sometimes it's good to clear the man. Um, I play top golf, play basketball. Anything that's like keeping me on my feet. Okay! Turn it up, man. Okay, where the phone, man? Okay. Friendly competition. That killer's instinct to like always be competitive and even if you're joking about and things like that, as long as you stay in a competitive mind frame, I feel like it helps with every like day to day life. Come on, have the legs, have the legs. No. Have the legs, man, you're meant to have the legs! My competitiveness is on <laughs> level 101, so, yeah, it's good. <laughs> ah! Told you the pressure, it's the camera, it's the camera! <laughs> What's in front of me right now is I'm a light heavyweight. There's light heavyweights in my division. I want certain rankings, I want certain spots. Everyone knows I want to become a world champion. It's a big ask, I'm going to do it. That's just my opinion, my belief in myself. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. give my money. Yeah, okay. I'll give you money. Take Jose money. Burton's just been knocked out by Frank Bugaloni. For me, it makes no sense for me to fight someone that's just been knocked out. We want Frank Bugaloni. He's something that I want, a British title. So I think what they've done is they've called me out and then fobbed me off to Jose Burton. You've got something, I've got something. I've got a top 10 ranking. If you get the boat I got, you get a top 10 ranking in the world, I get your British title when I win. No! Oh. You know what, no, no, you know what? I try, I may try to make it sit in the middle. Supporters need to tune in and see the progression because, again, seeing someone come from nothing to something is a fantastic thing to watch. So um, that's what's happening to me right now, and I'm, and I'm, I'm grateful. This is Dominic. I don't think the man needs any introduction. He's my trainer. He's slash chef, slash everything at the minute. Breakfast in bed. Water boy. Washing up, everything. Lot, really. Laundry man. Everything. I've been in boxing ever since. I'm 50, Billy. I'm 50. Lift your top up. I'm not lifting your top. No, I'm not lifting your top. Lift your top up. So if you look like that at 50, you've got to know what you're doing. A lot of good fighters, you know, especially Billy. He's going to the ring sometimes in terrible shape, but the fighting instincts got him through. So this time, you know, he's got somebody doing his diet, calculating his calories instead of going in. Well, I'd say maybe 50 or 60 percent. He's coming in at, you know, 95, 99 percent. Boom, boom! Normally, I'd probably go about food for the last week or two, but I, feel, I, I eat that much food. This is just a start. I eat f four times a day. Don't be wrong. It's not the food I prefer. I like a nice pizza in front of me when I don't. Yeah. Well, a nice Indian, but at the end of the day, that don't get you fitting in good shape what I'm in now. Are you going to have raw liver in the morning or not before you run? Uh, we'll have that. We'll have it in the morning. Now I'm on about moving into the elite and testing myself. The likes of Golovkin and Canelo. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm literally I'm in the queue. I mean, I've just got to win this fight and I'm the next one walks through the door. It's time to get serious. Billy's proved time and time again in sh when he's been in shocking shape going into fights against Eubank or his last fight that he's managed to get through on what I call petrol fumes. The tank's empty and all he's going on is the fumes what are left and he can do that for six rounds in a fight. And that's determination to get you through. That's the fighting instinct. Uh, and Billy's got that. Whereas William Monroe has shown, even with a full tank when the pressure's on, you know, he's looked for the corner and, and gone down. I know what sort of character he is and I know what would push his buttons and what wouldn't. Now, I, I don't ever bring people's immediate family into it, but he was coming out with a load of rubbish on Twitter, bringing my immediate family. So they asked me what nationality of prostitute am I going to celebrate afterwards? And I said, American, Willie Monroe Jr.'s mum. He can take it how he likes. It's been said, it's been put out there. He can try and do something about it next week. Huh? Uh, that was a bad one. Oh, that was <laughs> Also, you can all take something from Daniel's like work ethic and dedication to the sport. Like, I mean, I look up to him in certain things. Like when he went to the Europeans in his first professional fight, I was like, they're yeah, very happy. Oh. Bravo! <laughs> Bravo! Take every fight as it comes. Move on from each 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 fight I have. And there's no real rush or need to go in with big names. I'm just taking every fight as it comes. 
don't know where did you just miss all of it. <laughs> Twice. I want to build myself up and work hard towards be, being in that position and being at that stage where I can challenge these big names. But remember, if you flop, change your last name. <laughs>